I am in a little place called Exford, right in the middle of Exmoor, which is in Somerset. I'm here to celebrate a friend from the university's 50 and a half birthday. Today I'm a little horse, Nay. because as much fun as the disco was last night, as oldies who are wanting to talk, you know, haven't seen people for so long, got to make my way around everybody, um, I had to speak really loudly so that we could hear each other over the music. So today I'm a little horse. Birthday boy. <laughs> so what have we got for breakfast then in the American diner? I'd like some Bacon on pancakes with maple syrup, please. What I've actually got is eggs, pistachio. Oh, 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 look, instant food. Start with the tangerine. That was a very nice tangerine. And now time for my second course. I'm not sure I really want this pan or chocolate. I might only get away with it if I had a nice coffee to, to dip it in. Now, if you don't know what a shiwi is, I'm going to show you exactly what a shiwi looks like. Or perhaps I should call it a shihiwi. <laughs> this is a shiwi, right? Can you use your imagination? I'm, I'm not actually going to show you how it works. How to clean a shihiwi. First, place the shihiwi in an appropriate size Tupperware. Get some boiling water and pour. Leave for a few moments. I have absolutely no idea how long. Turn it. After a few more self-decided moments. Voila! And if you're a bit of a germ freak, you're then going to have to boil up this Tupperware in another Tupperware to clean this Tupperware. Just go outside. The good thing about a shiwi is you can monitor the colour of your urine to see how dehydrated you are and um, as you can see I am quite hydrated <laughs> um, but I was peeing all last night I mean I peed a full a full bottle of this in the night and um, this morning I'm, I'm peeing some more I've drunk some more water and look at the colour I'm sorry this is all just a report from inside Tabitha. Um,
but I didn't want to film. I just wanted to have fun. I hadn't seen these people for years. And I just wanted to enjoy myself and reconnect and not have to think about filming or whether they would want to be filmed or I just wanted to enjoy the experience. So I'm sorry I can't share that with you, but um, no, I'm not sorry, actually. I'm not sorry. No, I'm just explaining. I'm not sorry. I'm just explaining. There was a cake competition and I made this orgasmic courgette cake, which I've only made once before. And it, I found it online and it's called Flora's Famous Courgette Cake. And it's a, uh, um, oh, sorry, my brain's not working this morning. I didn't get much sleep. It's uh, what's the face, you know, you know, beautiful, sexy, goddess, chef. It's, it's her, <laughs> anyway, it's an adapted recipe of hers. And there was a cake competition, there was a cake off. I guess who got first prize? <laughs> Um, last night, when I walked up to the village hall where the disco was, I, I, well, I thought I'd walk, but having no idea how far it was, and it was a lot further than I th was expecting, so I heard a car behind me and stuck my thumb out. And this lovely lady, Amy, stopped and let me have a lift. And it turns out she works in the Kent team, knows all about open dialogue, and knows the people that I'm going to be filming in Kent for the documentary about Open Dialogue. And uh, I think she's going to buy one of my books. I certainly am. And I've got one right over here. <laughs> it's pretty funky. Magic. Show us the artwork. The artwork was done by Adrienne Vintner from Norway. Um, I found it online and then I had crowdfunded So I'm here at the, the farmhouse of the campsite that I stayed at last night. This is Jill, she runs this place and um, she's showing me this book about the lost words. The lost words was created to bring attention to the fact that some words are lost. It came to light when they went to amend a junior dictionary for a new edition, these words were gone. Um, and they're culled from the uh, Oxford University Press junior dictionary. Uh, these words included bluebell, conker, heron, acorn, and perhaps the one that cut the deepest for me, kingfisher. It wasn't the fault of the dictionary that these words were not included, but the culture in which we live which seems to give more importance to the urban than the wild. The dictionary was a symptom of this and a timely reminder that we should take a good long look at what we value. So the, all these words, adder. Kids don't know the word adder. And this book, the lost words, is to keep them alive. Bluebell. Bluebell, that really pisses me off. Bluebell, who doesn't use the word bluebell? I don't know about you, Jill, but I think rather than taking them out of the dictionary, what I would have done is had special classes in them at school. That's why it's so important that children can experience the countryside and nature and wildness. Dandelion. Otter. Otter. 